Hey, this is Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter. Today we're going to tie a chewy caddisfly larva. And this is a fly I've been using a lot with some European nymphing techniques as a, as a weight fly. But it's also been a really productive fly. Some of my bigger fish lately have been coming from this fly. Fish it on the bottom of a two fly rig with a little smaller mayfly nymph as a lead fly. First thing I'm going to do is tie in or wrap in a little bit of additional weight. I've got the Tiemco, or excuse me, the Umqua Competition Series check nymph hook here, the C300BL, and I've got a tungsten bead on as well. But just to give it a little added weight, I'm putting on a thin strip of lead zonker tape. doubling it back on itself when I get to the bead. So now I've got a fly that's going to be very heavy. Start my thread. 70 denier. Cover up that lead tape. Trim off the excess. The back end here will tie in some CDC fibers. Get just below where the lead is for that. Trim that off. And I've got a tapered piece of caddis green chewy skin. I'm going to tie that in right here at the back of the hook. Wrap forward. And I'll start wrapping the body of the fly with the chewy nymph skin. You can stretch this, but if you don't stretch it too tight, you still get some really nice segments out of it. The more you stretch it, the more you compress that chewy skin, and the more you hide those segments. Wrap it up just behind the bead, tie off, the chewy skin and then trim off the excess. I'll take some black here's your dubbing. You could use ice dubbing here too if you wanted a little more flash. Build up a nice thorax behind the bead. And that's really all you have to do. You can make it fancier if you like, but, but just like that, we're having a pretty effective fly. Throw in a couple of whip finishes behind the tungsten bead. And we'll trim off our excess, or just trim off our thread, I guess. One thing that's been making a difference with this chewy skin is it's kind of fickle stuff. If you don't seal it, it has a way of coming unraveled without you doing anything. You'll just open your fly box one day and the fly is kind of disintegrated. So you need to seal it. So I've got this Loon Outdoors soft head. And I'm going to take and just put a thin coat of that soft head on that whole body of the fly. We'll let that dry. It will keep that fly from disintegrating. When it dries, it actually even gives that UV finish that's on that chewy skin. 
a little heightened iridescence which adds some nice luster to the fly. So there's a chewy caddisfly larva. Great fly for any freestone stream that has lots of uh, free swimming caddis larva like hydrocyches and Rhycophila larva. Again, I'm Hans from Dakota Angler and Outfitter and we just finished tying the chewy caddisfly larva. Check this video out and others at flyfishsd.com. You can also purchase materials to tie these flies right there on the website. Thanks for watching.